Hey guys, welcome back to the Yellow Post. Today we're going to be talking about plotting a location or plotting a point on a UTM map. Um, I'm also going to be showing you how to improvise a, a grid square reader if you don't have the correct size one because the map that you printed off doesn't really have a proper scale. Thanks for joining us. I hope you learned something today. All right, so one of the first things you need to know is the scale of your map. We're using the seven and a half series. We're using a scale of one to 24,000. So I've got a couple protractors or grid square readers or roamers or whatever you want to call it. Grid square readers, what I use. But you're seeing here multiple scales. You got the one to 24,000, one to 25,000, one to 50,000. So our maps are going to be utilizing the one to 24,000. You got another example here. This is the one that I used while I was in the Border Patrol. I like to use this one because it's a little bit bigger if I've got my bigger map case. So you got your 1 to 24,000 here. I don't know if that's clear or not. Your 1 to 50. So if we remember from before, a 4 digit coordinate will get us 1,000 meters. A six-digit coordinate will get us 100 meters. An eight-digit coordinate will get us 10 meters. And a 10-digit coordinate will get us within one meter accuracy. So we do a simple four-digit coordinate, 42 east, 90 north. And remembering that when we read, we're going to read right or easting and then up or northern. So we're going to go right until we get to 42. Forty-two, and then we're going to go up until we get to ninety. So forty-two, ninety gets us to this corner right here. And that thousand meters would be this grid square. This grid square contains the word Snow Creek Falls. So if you're looking for the main thing at grid forty-two ninety, you'd find Snow Creek Falls. If we're trying to do the reverse. And we want to find out what grid Caribou Ridge is on. We go right, and we'd see that that's 39, and we'd go up. And we see that's 88. So this would be right now 39, because we went right to 39, and up. 88 so 39 88 would be this grid square here with the word caribou's at a 10 digit grid right here our eastings 39 035 and our northings 90613 we're going to want a eight digit coordinate because we can't navigate to a one meter accuracy on this map it's too precise so we're going to round up this last number, remember, 5 and up, and make this a 4. So make that 304, 3904, and then we're going to round this down so it's going to stay a 61. Easting, northing. Now, to find the grid square, kind of confusing we need the first two numbers from each half so we're going to look into grid 3990 39 right 90 up okay let's go let's see if we can see, see that on our map here right 39 and we're going to go up to 90 so we're going to be operating in this grid square right here right 39 and up 90 those two intersect at this corner 
and we're dealing with everything to the right and to the up to the east and to the north so we're dealing with the snow creek or snow peak i'm sorry grid square and then the, from that point we're going to figure out where 0, 04 east or right followed by 61 north are starting at this point here we're going to be dealing with these numbers dealing with the 1 to 24,000 again we're going to put as you can see the line here we're going to start with this corner there and we're going zero so not even to the one but to the four to the right and now we're going to go up to the six and the one and that should bring us to the peak of snow peak Let's see if we can zoom in a little closer here to the peak of snow peak okay let's do another one here we're gonna say we, we got a good spot in the saddle where we can sit and watch that's located at 10 uh 10 digit coordinate of four zero four eight seven east nine three three one two north we got to break this down into a four digit coordinate again around that makes this is greater than five so it's going to be a nine it's less than five so it's going to remain a one so our number is now going to look like four zero four nine east or to the right ninety three thirty one north or up we're going to get our grid square so we're going to start by finding 40 right 93 up okay you can see some of our lines here so we got 40 okay 40s between 92 so we need to keep going up to 93 so we're going to start here 40 93 brings us to this grid 40 93 and we're looking at 40 4 9 to the right so we're going to start in the corner and we're going to go to 49 four almost a five and now we're going to go up 31 so we're keeping this on this line the 49 on that line and we're bringing it to 31 and we're going to leave a little mark because this isn't actually a place name we want to know where our location is on the map I make a little dot and then I draw a little circle around it the reason I do that is that way that my precise location is precise but the circle is allowing me to actually see what little mark I made might seem silly when we're working here in the house but when you're out in the field and you're crumpled up and you're drawing on an uneven surface this will really help a lot so is this in a saddle we remember definition of a saddle we got high ground on two sides and low ground on two sides so we got a ridge or we got uh, coming up here to a hill hilltop and going over here to a hilltop so we're going up in elevation on two sides we got high ground there and now we got it going down into a draw 
see this blue line that means there's a stream leading down and so our definition of a draw for a low ground is going to be V's pointing towards the high ground so we have these V's pointing towards the high ground here and we have the same thing on the other side no stream but we do have our V's pointing to this this is a very predominant saddle here all right let's say we've got our printed off map and we've got a grid square reader and we check the scale because these are in kilometers so there's kilometers right here and one kilometer so this one to 24 should be that it's not let's check the one to 25 it's not that either so you can see the kilometer written right there so what do you do the easiest way I found is to take a index card I like index cards because they're a little bit more durable corner up with zero It's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to make that one big. Six, seven, eight, nine, and one. So five and one kilometer. You're going to do the same thing. Down this side here. I'll line up with zero. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one. So, yep, they line up. So now, we can see that that will line up with the distance for a grid line. Same thing there. Versus if I take my factory built one, that's the proper scale, it won't. Now the one to, one to 50 is too small. But this will work just fine. Is it super precise? No, it's not perfect. But if you're looking for perfection, you wouldn't be using a free map. But for simple navigational purposes, this works. This works real well if you're trying to train a large group that don't want to pay money. Boy Scouts or something like that. You can teach them for very cheap. And this works very well. I've done it several times and they were able to learn just as well. With improvised stuff and, and frankly it's kind of fun to make improvised equipment but you could do that same navigation by reading right and then up I'm sorry by reading right and then up within your grid line here on these little maps as you can on the big one uh, thanks for joining us today as we went over plotting a location or a, a point on a map um, hopefully that was kind of clear hopefully the camera was was sharp enough that that was actually something you could see if this is something you want more of the way you can get some actual practice you gotta let me know we can set something up um, with lots of examples and then that way you can actually get good at this if you're going to be doing a bunch of navigation learning how to plot points is going to be super important especially if you're going to plan a route ahead of time and you need to know if you're getting to the places you want to go or if you're trying to figure out if you know exactly where you're at it's going to be important when we start to do um, intersections and resections and stuff like that coming up here shortly. Thanks for joining us. God bless. Thank you.